there was clearly a reaction to Donald Trump's uh, presidency and the way he's conducted himself in the presidency, not just that he won. So to the extent that this was a snapshot of a moment, there was a, this was the first chance for lots of people to express anger over what they saw as the direction of policy. That, of course, is the incoming Westchester County Executive George Latimer talking to our Andrew Whitman earlier. Now, Latimer, Democrats saying basically what voters were saying when we conducted a poll that uh, Gene helped us put together, both the Journal News uh, and ourselves, we conducted this right before Election Day, and what we found was nearly half of the people asked said Trump would be impacting their vote, and for anyone who doubted, uh, take a look what happened in Long Island as well, Virginia and other places. So the question is, was it Trump? Astorino fatigue or a combination of the two. Uh, Astorino was running for a third term. People often tire of elected officials the longer they sit in office. What was your sense? Um, obviously, uh, you're a mayor of one of the biggest municipalities in the entire county. Um, which of those things that I listed um, maybe swayed those people in the middle? Well, I think the conventional wisdom that we just heard from, from George in that clip is, is right on. And this is not to take anything away from George as a candidate. He's probably the best retail politician in Westchester County, not to take anything away from his campaign, which was aided by this amazing upsurge of activism from the Indivisible Movement but and, the time and he from didn't others. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, just as you said, if you put this race into the context of what happened in Nassau and Virginia and New Jersey, for that matter, if you look at the county legislative races and municipal races here in Westchester, it's clear it was just a wave. I mean, this is a, a highly educated county that went two to one for Hillary Clinton, that is horrified when it looks at Donald Trump. And I think you had a, a huge number of voters who may not previously had been focused on or cared about county politics, who were determined to come to the polls and send a message. And so everyone with a D after their name was, uh, was a beneficiary of, uh, of that dynamic. And good for George being in position to harness mm -hmm. and take advantage of, uh, of that, uh, that tailwind so that now he's in a position to govern Westchester in a progressive way. Historically, do these things have legs where they go for more than one year, or do voters consciously or subconsciously say, I'm going to send a little message now, but next year when it's the biggie, let's say the midterms here, uh, then I'll go back to my usual voting patterns? You know, I think historically it may ebb and flow a bit, but we're living in, you know, really unusual times. I mean, the president, President Trump. Right there. Yeah has not stopped. I mean, he has not made this transition to being presidential. He, re he keeps tweeting every day. He keeps doing things that frustrate people on the ground. And to, to Mayor Bramson's point, this is what char you know gets people going at the grassroots level, Indivisible and many other grassroots organizations. I will tell you, young people who are incredibly animated and energized, those who feel they are Democrats or liberals or just against the president, energized to vote in a way I can tell you in an off off year election they would never get I out to vote. The turnout numbers they weren't that much more appreciative than four years ago. Yeah except that you know you had I think you had a, a decrease in Republicans who, who were winning for, let's face it they had a really good 2016 and four really good special elections so they probably weren't as animated to get yeah. out to vote as as were Democrats but you know to the point we saw this election there were so many personal charges thrown around and when we did this poll what I did we shocked. find you and I were shocked didn't that care. didn't resonate at all nope. it was the Trump effect personal oh, issues you could have had a worse closing two weeks than George Latimer did yeah. but it didn't matter now for for closer to home for people who want to say what's going to change or not I want to play a clip and translate this pol uh, political speak for me this was pressed on um, what if anything will be different uh, under George Latimer Raising property taxes is something that I have no plans to do. I would like to be able to deliver a budget that didn't have an increase in property taxes. Despite all the rhetoric that I heard on the other side of the aisle, all the mailings, all the people on Facebook that predict what's going to happen. But I'm not going to make the promise not to do something, throw your hat over the fence without knowing what's on the other side of the fence. That's not prudent. Is that a translation that he's going to raise property taxes? No, I think we should take uh, George's comments at, at face value. There's no politician in their right mind who is eager to raise taxes. Nobody it's wants a, to, but my point right. is if he fairly attacked his opponent on the trail about budget gimmickry here, rating pensions, et cetera, uh, to keep the number flat for property taxes, if he's not going to do that anymore, unless it's a pot of gold that I've been missing, what choice I, I does he have? I think what George's commitment was during the campaign, and I'm sure his commitment now, is to face the county's fiscal challenges in an honest way. Uh, the reality is that Rob has left a bunch of fiscal time bombs in the budget, uh, whether it's the failure to settle contracts or one-shot revenue deals or 
borrowing to cover uh, pension and certiorari costs. All of those things are going to impact the county's yeah. future finances. George is saying, I'm going to look at this in an honest way and consider the county's long-term interests. But I think he's also saying that property tax increases are going to be my last resort, and I want to look at everything else before we go in that direction. And, uh, I, you know, the fact that George is being straightforward um, about the nature of the choices that we're going to confront as, uh, as uh, residents of Westchester, I think, is a healthy thing in our government. It's always comes down to property taxes, isn't it? Always. <laughs> and what did the polls say? You're Number right. one issue. <laughs> and the gun show, which surprised me. the gun me. show, which was stunning. Yeah. That yeah. was such an issue. Definitely. Um, well, of course, we're going to uh, keep an eye. It'll be a very busy and interesting uh, few first months at the beginning of the year. All right, coming up next, everybody, we'll have some local headlines. Please stay with us.